Hey everyone, David here. So wanted to bring y'all to my garden. This year, last year I didn't do a garden, but this year I decided to do one. And to cut down on weeding, I decided to use these grow pots. Uh, they are a fiber pot and it helps create good aeration in the soil. Uh, and also um, I set up an irrigation system with these. But underneath of this mulch layer, I also have landscape fabric that is laid down uh, and then mulch and then everything else. But uh, we'll kind of go through, um, show you all what I have. Let's see, over here, uh, tomatoes. The entire row of tomatoes. I have all these cages set um, and these tea posts, which eventually I will or string the cages to the tea posts to give them a little bit more stability. Um, I wasn't quite sure exactly what to expect with uh, all these tomatoes, but most of them are the uh, San Marzano Roma tomatoes and these are these are plants or uh these are plants from seeds that i started uh, back in probably about mm, probably about two months ago um and they're doing they're doing pretty well uh it took some time uh when i transplanted them over into these pots out of the the planting cells for them to actually start growing um some of them are still kind of small, like this guy, like this one. It's a little small, so is that one. But I put two plants per per container. Uh, some of them had double plants. Actually, that's a weed. Um, some of them had double plants in each cell, but like uh, these guys here. But let's see, I think I saw a flower, yeah. Um, this one's a little bit taller, uh, almost to the first ring, and got these uh, little flowers. Uh, San Marzano tomatoes are great for sauces, and I do plan on canning and freezing a bunch of tomatoes um, for salsa and sauces, because we eat a lot of, like, spaghetti. Um, next row, squash. Uh, planted most of these from seeds um, and they're starting to bloom out and let's see we'll show y'all okay so that the flower just fell off but right there is a little so this one's a crookneck squash um, it has already been pollinated and you can see a tiny little let's see if we get a bit our tiny little squash right there uh, that hasn't uh, blossomed yet. But this would be a male, or sorry, a female flower uh, once it starts blooming. And then for example, uh, I'll pluck this male flower out. Uh, this is a male flower. As you can tell, there's no, um, no fruit on it. So this, will only supply the uh, pollen to pollinate the female uh, flowers. Um, entire row of squash, love squash. Half of this row is herbs. We've got oregano, sage here, thyme, and then one thing of rosemary. And then uh, to finish out this row, my grandmother always planted these beans. They're all called, they're called greasy cut shorts. Uh, they are a climbing bean. And um, honestly, it's the best green bean that I've ever eaten. Uh, I love the fact that my grandmother used to grow these and I had uh, seeds in my freezer uh, about four years and decided to, uh, what the heck I'll, I'll plant some and sure enough uh they come up i got t-posts that i need to set up and fencing to put up so they can they're about to start climbing as you see this little uh, uh part right here and 
I'll go back up here. Got four plants of pimento peppers and then more green beans. Uh, to finish out this row, these are the blue bush lakes. Um, these are a bushing uh, type of green beans, so they don't need any trellising or anything like that. And then sweet banana peppers here. We've got one little pepper right there so far. Uh, still kind of early. Uh, weather's been real weird lately uh, with uh, all this rain and cold. I mean, heck, we had uh, frost in, in May, um, which is very rare. And then have a bed uh, here that filled with soil. And this is, this plant that I have planted is in the Morning Glory family, uh, and it is called, uh, sorry, water spinach. Um, this is a very common Vietnamese green uh, that my dad and grandmother used to plant um, growing up. And what's great about it is once it gets tall enough, you can cut it and more will grow back. Um, I only planted half of this bed so far, uh, then probably about a week or so I'll plant this side and that way it can stage out how much uh, or when I'm harvesting and everything like that. But yeah, it's the bed uh, or the garden. Um, very minimal weeding. The only weeding that I really do is like here, um, like a grass seed that uh, has decided to sprout through the mulch um irrigation set on a timer i don't have to worry about that um leftover dirt from filling these pots uh that was a little time consuming took uh filled up five gallon bucket put these bags over top of it dumped it out and moved the pots um but yeah that's my garden um i'm pretty pleased with it and I'll keep you all updated. And any questions, talk to you all later. Bye.